sooner we could push and get it all done today but um whoa good boy chipper what does that look like to you that looks like a hedge trimmer uh, all the tools in the van yeah 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 Alrighty then, welcome back and thanks for checking in with me again, Nathan, uh, here at, uh, where's my van? Lewis Garden Services. Um, we're in a site today that's been um, neglected for quite a while and we're here to sort it out, so I'll give you a few clips of how we get it done. Uh, yeah, we did leave the country for this one. Only crossing over the old bridge into uh, England, but uh, yeah, a bit of a last minute job. We don't do last minute jobs, but... Um, this is for a friend of ours, so we came in and we're going to give it a sort out. It's not going to be anything special, like I say. It's just a site that I've been touched for a while, so we're going to hit it back and um, hopefully mulch all the, the waste up and uh, lose it here anyway. So, um, oh yeah, we've got to get access to get um, jet washed the whole building, which uh, I'm glad I'm not getting involved in. But um, yeah, this is how we uh, crack on and get it done. Thanks for watching. So we've got a load of low-level hedges like this. To sort out and um, yeah some of the path side is encroaching into the path so we'll get back to the curb line for that as well uh, it's generally all around and yeah I'm gonna use the older tees here to get more steps I'll show you that now So yeah, that's generally how we're going to do it. Um, there's only a little bit of pile of stuff there. Look, once you've uh, hit it with all the tidy mower, well, you're way too close to me there. Um, yeah, once you run over it with all that type of mower, um, it's generally this, all the way around. Got to sort the tree, sort the outside, but yeah, just going to be one of those jobs, I think. It's a burger van around the corner, apparently, so that's always a bonus. Anyway. Anyway, really appreciate everyone who's uh, liked the videos and subscribed to the channel. Uh, yeah, it means a lot that someone's sitting down and watching the stuff we do. quite worked out whether what I'm about to do is abusing this kit or using it what it's designed for but it's gonna bash all this junk right down So um, that's all chopped up, and uh, lucky enough it can go back into the, well they're not bad today, it can go back into the boundary kind of line here. Um, we've got to the road side of that as well, that's a lump of stuff to come out. This is um, down the side. So yeah, this is mainly kind of tree stuff along here, just to get access. So I'll probably be fetching the um, little chipper in tomorrow to chip all that back in there, give the older tees a break and use a tool more suitable for the job. But yeah, all the way down here. Probably going to be pole saw and um, shredding blade and the chipper on that. Just to clear that boundary back. And then, a bit behind whatever this contraption is. Looks like one massive radiator. 
like not in the house, in a car. And then clear down along here. Again, we're just talking access really. There is a cherry picker coming in, so where anything real high can be cut off with that. And around the corner. Yeah, down there. So, would you agree that, um, bring a little chipper? I don't think you see my chipper yet. Little green mech one. Uh, well, you'll see it in a minute if you keep watching. Anyway, um, let's get back to it. Oh, it stinks around here as well. I'm not sure if there's something dead in the edge somewhere or um, drains are blown up, but uh, yeah, it's a bit whiffy. Okay, so um, we've stopped for some grub. The guys have gone back to the van. I'm sitting in the old tool garden position. Pretty much done in that area over there. I think it's always good to bash through kind of the worst of the work in the morning because the afternoon always seems to disappear and we're a fair stretch away from home here so I'm not staying till, till late I'm not getting caught in traffic to get back um, yeah we'll do the road side of that and that might be it today but a final clean up along here I'm not sure who's coming in this site I'm not sure when they're coming in here but um, to me it needs a bit more work than we've been asked to do but um, I suppose that's down to whoever's going to lease the place um, yeah, chicken, salad, mayonnaise, not too bad. Okay, day two, it's um, just gone seven o'clock in the morning. I'm waiting for one of the guys to turn up at mine and then I'll pick up um, the second guy then on the way to that there, England, to get the job done. I think we broke the back of it yesterday as long as everyone's happy with um, how tight we've got all the shrubs and everything. Um, yeah, this is day number two. Okay, here we are, chippers up and out, off the van. Uh, there's a few companies now making these chippers. I've had this Green Mech CS100 for nearly four years. I think the other one that's doing quite well is Scarpa. That's uh, changed the name, I think. Um, take four inch, yeah, it's gravity fed. Does the job for me. I know a lot of the trees guy, tree guys don't like them. But then it's not gonna compete with a big old, uh, do you know what I mean, Timberwolf. It's not gonna do that same job, is it? So, um, but for me, for small stuff, it's great. Uh, as long as the stuff isn't full of uh, unions, you've got to split apart and you can dress the stuff down to a straight. Um, and it's not kind of real hard dead, would you find? Now I'll show you some clips of how this thing works. We can get it into sites, it's easy enough. I know people say you can shift around a 750 kilogram um, towable chipper on their own. You know, you can on the flat a bit, but this thing we've got up and down steps in the back gardens. We're on this site now where it's all kind of barricaded off and we can get it in. Uh, we've got through sites where the only access is a fire escape at the back with it, so yeah, real handy for us.
coffee break um, seat. It wasn't quite as comfy as yesterday, for sure. The exhaust is nice and warm though on my uh, right leg. Okay, so we're coming to the end of day two now. We could push and get it all done today, I think, but um, we may be needed here tomorrow for some snagging and cutting some access in. So we're just gonna drop a bit of a tree by here where a post is coming out to get a cherry picker through. Um, yeah, we'll probably call it a day then. We'll get that down, chip it, and um, yeah, unfortunately, it might be day three. And yeah, like I said, we could probably get it done today, but we we'll get a call mid morning. Can you come down and uh, sort something out for us? So uh, I'll show you the last bit. And cherry pick a pick, pick through there. A cherry pick a pick through there. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled. Cherry pick a fit through there. That one. Yeah. I'm not sure whether it will. I'm going to take that other one out. Okay, so um, just finishing up, did that tree in the corner of the access, and I'll show you where we're at today. It's a good job I am showing you where we're at, look, amazing. What does that look like to you? That looks like a hedge trimmer. Uh, all the tools in the van, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, right. Uh, so, Plenty of access along there, no worries. Um, like I say, we're back tomorrow, I'm gonna get all this tidied up. Around that big, uh, I think it's a refrigeration unit, I don't know, you tell me where it is, it's all cut back, just gotta get in there, the strimmer and sort that out. Most of it was pole saw, a bit off the floor. But no, there's plenty of room there. And around the corner, it's pretty much all the same. So yeah, back where I started then, found that tree on the corner for the access. Um, but yeah, tons of room there now for getting stuff down. Plenty of room. So yeah, let's say back tomorrow for some snagging. If anything needs dropping, we'll be here. Okay, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, campers, rise and shine, and don't forget your booties, cause it's cold out there. Today. It's cold out there every day. What is this, Miami? And just uh, heading off to day three of this job. I can't remember the last time I did a three-day clearing job, but like I said. Uh, bit earlier on that we could have finished it yesterday um, but I'm not sure whether we would have been needed today for some snagging and uh, uh, that's someone messaging me uh, probably wanting some work done as usual um, yeah not sure whether we wanted for snagging and um, well just cutting access for stuff uh, so the person in charge of all the um, 
management team are there today so they'll check off what we've done and um, make sure they're happy and if not we'll do a bit more anyway so I will get you some clips of maybe us blowing leaves because that's real exciting okay uh, thanks for tuning in for day three okay so like I said I'm mainly clearing up this morning um, unfortunately there's no one here yet to say yeah perfect you can go but um yeah, we'll just keep it net and cleaning up until someone gives us a signing off sheet of some description. Um, you can't see the blow up like I guess you can hear it. Them uh, Echo Backpack Blowers. Um, I think I've had that about three years now. Real good bit of kit. Hasn't given me one bit of grief in all the time I've had it. All this starts as a job stops. Perfect. Um, so if you're looking at a backpack blower, look at the Echo stuff. And then you get a real good warranty as well. All right, I will um, struggle to get you too much footage today because there's not too much to do, but um, I'll find something to show you. Catch you later. So I'm going to give you a final walk around. Um, I've had a tip full of walking around this building in fairness, a big old trek around it. But um, I'll show you where we got to. Um, I've seen some fella in a suit who was like, hello, good morning. He seemed happy, but I haven't seen the person that I wanted to see. So uh, hopefully we'll, we won't have to come back down here. So I will walk you around and I'm going to probably walk you around in uh, fast forward when I edit this, just so you don't spend 10 minutes watching me have and puff walk around the building. Again, all the litter's still here because litter pickers, I'm guessing, are coming in just before this place is going to be let. So uh, don't comment saying, oh, you should have picked up all the litter. Yeah, I should have done really, but um, I was told not to. All this cart back's going to be jet washed. We're not doing that. Or um, brushed off anyway. Car packs need to be cleaned. Our job was to get the curb lines all clear, cut back there. Um, one of the main jobs was access for um, cherry pickers to get in and jet wash the building, which uh, we've done. Not the tidiest job in the world, but like I say, that's the spec we've been given. We've uh, cleared around this fridge thing. We managed to stay alive on the old ice rink concrete. This will have to be cleaned before, before someone comes in and sorts all this out. So yeah, access around here. That's what I'm talking about. There's loads of rubbish everywhere. Are you still with me? Are you bored yet of walking? Right, I really don't want to keep walking all the way right to the end, um, but you can get the gist of it. You can see there's a now a big old gap between the building and the tree line to keep the trees away a bit from the building, but like I say, also to get a cherry picker in. Um, yeah, it's down there. All right, so yeah, a little three day job for you. I say three days is probably two and a half. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And if you're enjoying what we're doing on the channel, it'd be great if you could subscribe, like the video, give us a thumbs up and uh, hit that notification bell and you'll get more videos similar to this or whatever other kind of jobs we're doing. I might as well show you the end now because I'm right at the end. And that's it, you take care, see you later.